Hello, so if you have middle and high school students and you want to give them access to upload their own artwork, I'm going to show you two different options today. There are many other ways to do this, but these are the two that I think are the easiest. So the first one is using your SharePoint site to make a shared folder. We'll begin by going to our SharePoint page and then clicking on the settings gear in the top right hand corner. Click site contents. And then you'll click on the documents folder. When you click on the documents folder, then you'll click new. And then click folder. You can call your folder whatever you'd like. I'm calling this virtual art gallery. Click create once you've named your folder. Once your folder has been created, if you hover your mouse to the right of it, you'll see an arrow. Click on that. Then click on where it says people in Miami-Dade County Public Schools with the link can view. You'll see an option that says to allow editing and make sure that that is selected. Click apply. and then click copy link. So that way you can share this link through Microsoft Teams or via email or however you communicate with your students. Once your students have uploaded their artwork to the folder, we're going to add their work to the gallery. Click edit and then click add then you'll click Site, Documents, Virtual Art Gallery, and all of their artwork will be there. So you can select all of it, click Open, and it will slowly start to appear in the gallery. You can also click on the pencil to edit the information on the picture if you want to add the student's name and their grade level. Once you finish, close out that window. Click Republish. And your work is ready to be viewed. When you click on the artwork, that's how the name and grade level information will appear. Next, I'm going to show you a second way to make a shared folder with your students using OneDrive. And OneDrive is available through the Office 365 application in your employee portal. I'll log into my employee portal, click on Office 365, sign in. And then I will click on OneDrive. When I click on OneDrive, I will see all of my folders that I have. And then I'll click on the carrot next to where it says New. And I will select Folder. I'll call this folder Virtual Art Gallery, but again, it's up to you what you would like to call your folder. Click Create once you've named your folder. And then I'll go ahead and open up this folder by clicking on the name Virtual Art Gallery. I want to share the link for this folder, so I'll click on the little square with the arrow coming out of it that says Share. And then I will click on people in Miami-Dade County Public Schools with the link can view. Make sure that allow editing is selected so that your students can upload their artwork. Click apply. Then click copy link. 
and you can copy and paste that link into Microsoft Teams or however you communicate with your students. Once your students have uploaded their artwork, I'm going to show you how to add this to the SharePoint. So I will select all of the artwork and click Move To. My site is called Art Site, so I will click on Browse Sites to locate my site. As you can see, it's at the top, so I will select my site. And then I will click on Virtual Art Gallery. and move here. Once I've moved all of these images to my SharePoint site, I'm ready to go back and confirm that they were moved over there. So I can click on the set of squares on the top left-hand corner of my page, and then click on SharePoint. And then I will locate my page that I'm working on, which is called Art Site. I will click on the settings gear in the top right hand corner of my page, click site contents, I will then click on documents, and my folder virtual art gallery is there. And I'm going to open an image just to see what it looks like to make sure that everything looks good. When I open the image, that's how it will appear. Now I'm ready to go ahead and add this work to my virtual art gallery. So I will go ahead and close out this window. Click on the settings gear on the top right hand corner of your page. I can click on site contents. Click on Site Pages. There is my virtual art gallery. I will go ahead and click on that link to open it up. I will click on Edit to begin adding the artwork. I can click on Add or Add Images. Either one will work. And then I will click on Site. Documents. Virtual Art Gallery. And I will select all of the images to go ahead and add them to the gallery. I can click open and everything will begin to appear. And once the artwork has been uploaded, I can again click on the pencil just to add some information to this image, the student's first and last name and their grade level or any information that you'd like, it's entirely up to you. Once I close out this window, then I need to click Republish to make sure that the changes that I've made are viewable to my visitors. And when I click on an image, this is how it will appear with the student's name and information. I hope this was helpful for you and I hope your students enjoy their virtual art gallery. Thank you.